Huh. What was he thinking? So this is how you create damage effects that you would see in Fortnite. So the very first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to come down here, right click, and go to Blueprint Class and Actor. And we're just going to name this uh, Text Damage. And from there, what we're going to want to do is we are going to want to select the object that we want to be uh, able to like create the effect with. I'm just going to do this cube, come up to blueprints, and then you're going to want to convert selection to blueprint class. And we will just select that. And when you are here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the event graph, and we're going to remove all of this. And we're just going to be creating the damage effect attached to the mesh itself. So have your mesh selected, and you're going to want to come down and on component hit, we're going to open this up. And this is where we're going to start doing all the uh, the code and the actual like process to creating the effect like you would see in Fortnite. So drag out to the branch. And we'll just straighten this real quick. And then for our other component, we are going to get display name and the return value of which is going to contains a string. And the substring here is actually going to be uh, the projectile for uh, the actual game or like whatever you're using. Because I'm using the first person template, this is the first person projectile. Uh, so we are just going to grab the name here, and we're going to come back and put this into our substring. And then for the return value, connect this in to your condition. And now what we're going to do is, if this is true, we're going to spawn actor from class, and we will round this out by going and doing the text damage next uh, text damage uh, that we just created in the other area there and let's just compile and save this real quick to make sure that this is kind of all set and now we do have some errors here but we will fix that now all right so to fix this error what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to select our mesh again and bring it in to get a reference we are going to drag this out in get world location and we are going to split the struct pin because we're going to be getting uh, the rotation and the locations so for our location that's going to be our spawn transform location and to get our rotation what we are going to do now is we're going to get player pawn and from our get player pawn here, we're going to drag this out and we are going to get actor rotation. And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to be getting the text and everything to uh, be facing our player when we actually like shoot the object. And so that's why we're doing this. Now if we compile this, we can see that the error is gone. We're going to come back to this to fix some of the settings, but let's go... Um, do a couple other things first before we can move on to that. Okay, so what we're going to want to do is we're going to come back to our text damage and we're going to open this up. And when we have this open, we're going to come over here to add component and we are going to do a text render. And this is basically going to be the text that is going to be popping up here. What we're going to do is we're going to rotate this 180 because what will happen is it will be facing the wrong direction. And then, of course, you can align your horizontal and vertical to whatever you want. Uh, so just kind of mess around with that see what best fits you. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the event graph. And this is basically we're going to be firing off the code that we need. So from the EV, on the event begin play, we are going to do a timeline here. And this is when we are going to have a little bit of the difficult fun. One thing we do need to fix, though, is we want to do this to play from start, not from play. Once that's done, open your timeline and create a flow. You can name this um, flow up because what this is doing is we're creating the animation timeline for our text to like go up when we shoot it. So it'll make more sense when I show you. But 
what we're also going to want to do is we're going to want to change the length of this to play for about like 0.5 seconds so that way it's like not too long uh, at a key point and we are just going to set this one to zero zero and we're also going to want to set one here on the end which this one is going to be 0.5 in the value which is going to be two so what's going to happen here is it's basically going to start and then it's going to end uh, floating up that's pretty much that for that little thing so we can just compile it and save that uh, what we are also going to want to do is we're going to want to uh, add rel relative relative location text render and what this is doing is basically it's going to be changing like the location of where our object is going to be so let's just kind of move this around this is what's going to be updating and so what we're also going to want to do is we're going to split the pin for this because we're going to get this exact location of Z. So we're going to be changing the height. We're not necessarily going to move the text to the right or left of the object. We're just going to go up with it. So what we are going to do now is we are on finished. going to come down here and destroy actor. So the text will be uh, destroyed when like the timeline finishes itself because what it's going to do the timeline update moves the target location when that is done it's going to destroy it and so if we shoot it again another text will appear so on and so on and what we are also going to want to do is we're going to grab this float up and we're going to set that to z so what's happening is our animation it's floating up it's going to the z location that's what's making it go up left right etc etc so now that's done, we are going to compile and save, and we are going to go back to our cube here. And we're going to fix a couple things because what is happening now is if we just shoot this, it's not necessarily going to, uh, it's going to be in the middle, but it's not going to be like above the middle. So in order to fix that, we are just going to do a uh, vector or a vector plus vector, and then we are just going to change the height of the Z to be up a little bit more and this is what's actually going to be our spawn transform location so if i come in here and i click play and come up to the object and shoot it we can see that the text is appearing so yep there you go fortnite damage